Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic World Building Series. And today we're going to be focusing on important thing: loans. So in this episode, we're going to be watching the loans go down and uh, a little bit on a fast track, you know, with the higher... I'm kidding, we're not going to watch um, uh, loans go up and down. Uh, we're going to talk about the loans. So, uh, I still didn't address all the comments. I have a lot of them um, and thank you all for submitting them uh, historically as well. Um, we have an interesting thing. Uh, uh, Cheeb uh, commented on something. Uh, or chief, we can call him chief. Chief commented on something really interesting, um, really interesting previously regarding the uh, loans. That loans are okay, but they can can get out of hand. And this is actually a good thing in this game. The mechanic of loans. That uh, I, yes, I agree that they can get out of hands, and this is really, really, really important. Uh, that means that makes them a pretty fair, fair gain, fair. Uh, yeah, fair game, uh, fair hunting game, uh, so it, it's okay to take loans, at least what uh, most of the people think. Um, some people would like to see, uh, well, people on making videos to play a little bit harder, and you guys might play harder on your own, uh, which is really interesting. If I had a little bit more time, if I was, un like, unemployed or dependent on YouTube for this, if I can, if I could play this game, um, I don't know, five hours a day, I would. I would play it and I would do the hard modes and whatever, cosmonauts and whatever we, we would like to do. But unfortunately, uh, I have limited amount of time that I can actually do stuff. So um, I think loans are going to be uh, kind of positive thing here. I would like, I hate loans in real life. I don't, I, I, I paid off my loan for a car. It was a, <laughs> it was an extremely low loan and I probably didn't even have to take it. It was... 3,000 euros, I think, I took, which is $3,000 so for three years, <laughs> and I paid it off. But um, um, I had to buy a car, unfortunately, uh, because I lived too far away from my work. But uh, that's a story for another time. Maybe if you join us on the chats on Discord, which is in the link in the description of the video, join us. Sometimes uh, some of us uh, join on the Discord and just chat about the game, about personal stuff. And anyway, let's keep this one. So... Uh, Chief uh, mentioned something. Chief, sorry, Chief mentioned something interesting. Uh, Chief said that uh, we should. Uh, we, I should address. No, no, no. I need. Be, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's. Whoa, what, what just happened here? Why are there question marks here? Okay, how many question marks do we? We have a lot of question marks. That's interesting. Okay, uh, we need to address this as soon as possible. What is this? Kindergarten motherland. Okay, where is the secret police? Well, if I was a secret police, where would I be? Uh, technical university. Really? Nobody goes to university over here? Okay, that's a little bit surprising. Um, just to be uh, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go for some advanced engineering and stuff. So uh, we're gonna do some research. Okay, if I was a secret service, I would be this one. Really? And why is not uh, enough people working here? Because uh, this is... I'm pretty sure this is a secret service. Let me just double check this. Oh, by the way, I'm recording. Um, I'm planning to record these episodes a little bit in the future, like a day or two. Um, Copti asked me, why don't I do a live stream or will I do a live stream? I, not for now. Um, I don't know. It's, it's too much of a commitment. I started doing these videos about the, uh, the best maps. I think they are really good for the channel because little people like that. But unfortunately, I didn't have time, especially... I didn't have any vacation this year and uh, I just came back from the first one. And I liked it and I don't want to go back to work. Let me just do go for secret service. Secret police. Yeah, this is a secret police. We don't have enough people working here. It could be the loyalty issue. Could be the loyalty issue, uh, but I think we need to address this. Okay, let's uh, let's address uh, one of the things we're gonna address is loyalty. You know what? Uh, is there a statue? Uh, what, what's it called again? Trees and accessories, monuments, right here. Yeah. So let's go and check out uh, monuments. Three kilometers. Okay, uh, monuments. This is like street lights and parks. This is not really monuments. There's only one here. I think we should we should probably have more money. Let's let's see the loyalty. 
um, how much loyalty is where. Obviously, we need to increase the loyalty. I, I think I'm going to have to decrease the amount of secret agents and their loyalty. Unfortunately, I know the downside of this. Let's go bit by bit. Let's go to 35%. So, monuments are not telling us anything because uh, street lights and other stuff are counted as monuments and some of the monuments that we have are not really um, are not really that impressive they're not spreading any propaganda so you can see that our propaganda is pretty low uh, do we need monuments there I don't know uh, I wouldn't say so because we do have uh, some like statues around here and I'm, I was pretty detailed in leaving you know like here we have Tito here with 5% which is appallingly low it should have way more Tito is a legend um, but yeah, so uh, I'm gonna do something about the monuments. I think we need to increase the uh, loyalty. But uh, the first thing uh, the chief said, and this is duh, of course, but uh, not for Uliki. Uliki has a problem of understanding these things. I'm gonna go for the schools and um, we need to increase. Oh boy, what? It's already set at 40%. Okay, that was unfortunate i thought that uh, i didn't set it but if i set it for 40 percent for workers that's great because oh can i increase no uh that's great ah i didn't set it here uh we will set it for professors teachers they need to have 40 percent there we go okay so we lower this to five percent by five percent to 35 percent government loyalty for secret police agents um uh, i think this is important because we need to know what the, the loyalty is because if you don't know what the loyalty of your people is it cannot change so now with these extra police officers working here um i think we should see increase of the Oh, these question marks turning into percentages. And we're going to follow on that. Uh, do we have loyalty here? Yes, 36% is our government loyalty. Bear in mind that a lot of them is because we imported a lot of uh, immigrants. Okay, uh, we still didn't start talking about the loan. It's already seven minutes into this game. Uh, I wanted to check the one last thing that in last episode I did not address, address. And that would be people who didn't work yesterday. That would be you, right? No, 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 no. Unemployed because low education. Uh, unemployed yesterday okay um is are these guys here uh no wait wait um still living with their parents uneducated workers there we go okay so we have 31 uneducated workers here why is that is the, are they in the walk distance to the school okay looks like they don't have a school in their walking distance this is this is unfortunate we need to address this uh, do we have public transport around here uh, no and we have this one is this in walking distance to this building it is but I don't I think the only oh we don't allow them others you know what let's do this let's allow everybody to come here oh i paused it by accident let's allow everybody to come here and let's see if this number shrinks okay so why am why did i did do this uh usually the uh the train station or any station uses you is used as a buffer as well so they can go to this station wait and then go elsewhere if they need something from elsewhere for example these guys they need to go to school these are with basic basic education um can they go to school from here and they go elsewhere i don't know uh for some people you can see for these students it's easier to get from let's say some of the buildings next to the train station uh, to get to the train station than uh, go to school itself will this cause some problems i don't know maybe i'm betting that some of these people have a uh, lower education do they well actually i don't see any uh, people without uh, here we go no education there are some people with no education uh, they probably want to go they're counted as students so that means uh, oh look at this this person okay it's only 10 years old why are they like big here okay this is probably under seven years old you can see there are the people with no education okay we are testing something out here uh hopefully i'm gonna remember to hopefully i'm gonna remember to double check this later on uh, it's quite important okay so before uh before let's see low education 31 so this is important 31 3 4 whatever 11 8 uh we're probably gonna need school somewhere around here and maybe i should start on this sooner rather than later uh let's see one more time where do we have schools if we go to buildings and then sss schools uh we don't have any schools planned around here let's see how much do you cover 
uh, they covered this, but this area will not be covered. I think we need to cover it. Yeah, so let's see walking distance here, 290 meters to cinema. I think school at the end of this uh, footpath would be nice, but I will put it somewhere in between. So let's see some kind of school. It doesn't have to be too big. Um, this one is, well, too big. Uh, we're gonna go for something smaller, school 60s. Uh, ah, this one is a little bit on a big side. I wanted something smaller so it fits here. School 80s, wow, this is a huge one. School 50s, four story high. Wow, do we have a small school? Can we please have a small school? Not wooden school, I don't want that. This is four floor Stalinka school. Ooh, Stalinka in Stalinka neighborhood, but that's all, all the way there, uh, maybe. Uh, let's see other schools. Uh, rural school 60s. Uh, we hate roads. What is this? This is too big. School. Simple as that. Again, road. Oliki doesn't like roads. School of M. Lurch. Ler Lerch. I'm gonna say Lerch. Uh, school. Just school. What's this one? No. Mosso Velt. Vet. Also that small school. There we go. Perfect. It has road, but uh, Uliki doesn't care because it's a good. It, 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 we need a school. Okay, so this is gonna be a school. We're gonna build a footpath all the way. Uh, let's do it this way for people to for kids to enter. And I'm gonna build uh, this uh, mud footpath and then start construction of this school. I think it's gonna start uh, with automation, that's fine. Build these footpaths so they have easy access. Here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna build the access to this school, um, uh, sorry, to, to this road here. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, building is without power supply. Uh, that's unfortunate, seriously? Oh, come on. It's 260 meters and yeah. Okay, it looks like, uh, let, let's see, do we have these uh, overlays with power? Elasticity, there we go. Elasticity. Okay, these are substations. Okay, I'm gonna have to build an odd substation. Let me see consumption of power. This is an important thing as well. How big of a cables do we have to put here? You can see that this one is consuming 600, uh, 0.6 megawatts, so 600 watts of electricity. And this is a, one of the like centrally located uh, substations. Uh, we have a lot of overlap happening, happening here. So I think they're doing great. I'm just thinking like, what is the maximum a substation of like our substation is consuming looks like 600 was the maximum one this is 200 megawatts sorry watts uh this one is definitely not one of them what about here this one has again 600 looks like our substations are not consuming that much power i think we have good overlap so i'm thinking uh, why why did i say that uh, i'm thinking of putting some extensions in the future these uh, switches i believe uh what, what's i gonna call it uh four-way switches and then just extend the same electricity uh further it would be really great that you can put electricity here and that it would can we test this if we put electricity uh, to this substation from another point, you know what, this is not working anyway, so let's test this out. I'm gonna put a substation, I'm gonna go for Robses one. How strange, he has, he likes Robses substation. That's new on this channel. Um, you know what, uh, we don't need the, oh. And just yesterday, uh, less than 24 hours ago, I said that <laughs> these crashes don't happen to me. And they haven't happened in a while. And there we go. Bam. 24 hours later, karma strikes. Okay. Uh, we lost four minutes, but we didn't do much in the last four minutes. So uh, we can easily just rebuild the school that we uh, planned. And we're going to go for a time lapse. Time lapse is going to be... Uh, we'll see what it's going to be about. Setting up our machine part uh, deliveries and stuff. Uh, finishing some projects on such projects and enjoying uh, scenery of our beautiful city Okay, well, I'm hoping that it's gonna be that uh, Did we say that we need something in the last one? Yeah, heating infrastructure. Yeah, we, we can address that as well So this one is connected. Let's connect this one again. This is gonna be done by automation This is long enough, but it's gonna need construction as well because of the parts for finishing these roads and stuff the the lights so we're gonna need this. Um, right, uh, substation. Yeah, the substation is the next one. So let's do real quickly a sub. No, 
uh, Rob's this one. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Here we go. Build this one. Um, underground testing. Testing mic check. One, two, one, two. No, we're gonna just try to test this. Is this a possibility? Is this a thing for us? Uh, there we go. Uh, let's just build. Ooh, that's not gonna be built. That's gonna be built by helicopters. Copti is gonna be happy about this. Uh, what are we? What do we have here for helicopters? I forgot that part. Uh, gravel we have, and electronics we have. I think we have everything. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's go a time lapse. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go and check some of the construction projects that we need to finish. Uh, we're gonna go and check. Uh, Oh, one last thing, the prison. Uh, prison system needs to have loyalty. Yeah, it has a decent loyalty. But you can see the problem we have here. Our loyalty drops significantly. I have no re I don't. I have no idea why. I think I'm going to have to lower this because I think uh, prisoners are escaping. And this is kind of having a snowball effect. Uh, you see Soviet propaganda? We're going to go to 80% over here. Uh, and government loyalty, we're going to go here as well. Uh, you see, I missed this one also. So let's go with this one. Uh, overall government loyalty is 36%. We need to focus on that. Uh, productivity, one other thing that I usually like to check is 82%. I would like to increase that as well. Anyway, time lapse time.
Okay, let's discuss what happened here. Well, what we did actually in general. So, for some reason, some of these, this is the only one that cannot be constructed by other construction offices. The other ones can. Uh, I have no idea why. The first one, obviously, because we lay down the path where the rest of the pipes will go. But I did plan these ones in three segments as well. But looks for some reason that they didn't start here. Okay, you know what? Let Leaky... Um, uh, do something here. I think I noticed something uh, different. So let's go like this. If I go a little bit further, maybe let's try. Let's try it here. If I go here, I might be able to. Let's say. Let's see here. Ah, uh, the yeah, app. But uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Please be connected to the beginning. Yes, yes. We can actually construct all of the pipes for some reason. Oh, I broke the game. Uh, right, okay, so that means that... Go away, go away. Uh, that means that if you start... This first one is obviously the first one. But if you bend these uh, pipes towards the first one, that's a problem. But if you push it straight forward... I don't know even how to replicate this. But if you push it straight forward that it goes for a while on its own directly to when it snaps to a position... Um, that actually makes it in one piece. It doesn't segment it in two pieces. Oh, oh but this one did. Wait a minute. Oh, but this one can be constructed. Why? This one is connected on the other side. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea how this happened. What the hell happened here? And I love this game. I so much love this game. I don't have any complaints about the game uh, operations, how it's work. What the hell is happening? Okay, good. No more news. Loyalty, still 36%. Uh, if I did something wrong with the loyalty, please hit the comment section. Let me know what I... Mm, screwed up this time uh electricity is all here let me just see if this electricity cables are done no no not even close not even close uh did they deliver stuff for these oh we uh, yeah this is helicopters right uh yeah sure 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 i think we're gonna be fine with this okay so uh, final thing, I checked out uh, our loans a little bit. We are falling a little bit with finances. Uh, let's see the machine parts. Do we have steel? Yes, steel is delivered. I put the buses away from the construction construction office. And I will remove them all the way because I want to be in control on of when uh, the construction gets people. Any construction gets people, I want to control this. Um, let's see, two more buses removed. I don't want to remove buses that are full of people. I will go with this one and this one. So let's go and uh, one more time. Uh, what I checked as well is where do we have unemployed people? So people unemployed yesterday. Uh, we are not black and white, but hopefully you guys can see the most of them is in the new area. And we have a bus station right next to the new area. So we're going to have a bus station, this one here, delivering workers to to over here and off you go uh i think i want to copy paste your schedule on this one but uh, it doesn't allow me like that i will have to go and click on the bus itself uh off you go i will oh will this yeah this is gonna have to be probably a uh, paste uh they have to be uh, spread out evenly so what we're gonna do here um i think the line spacing doesn't work anymore i mean like in my eyes in my eyes line spacing if i'm making any mistakes here if you think that it actually works that i'm just not uh, using it correctly glavis stock uh is this one it no this is one uh so what i'm gonna do here is uh before this one unfortunately i cannot put before this one you need to go to the bus storage sorry for doing this at night but yeah sorry for doing this can i move this one up no uh, so i'm gonna have to after after this one then you need to go here there we go so this is remove this one go away and this one yeah so they go here first uh what's the timing uh, l let it be as it is let it be as it is so these guys two guys are going to be delivering people on equal intervals uh to the uh to the machine part factory okay that being said uh unemployment dropped to three percent uh let's see the education did education work 
people not being uh, able to work because low education or low education looks like it shrunk a little bit but i'm not yeah i think it was over 100 now it's less i will leave it as it is uh i'm not sure what, what do you think about these guys i know that workers when they need to go to work they if they go to this station they wait for an hour if there's work in a walking distance from them they go to work does it work the same for the students do students go here and see that uh, if wait for an hour if there's no train uh, to take them where the education is do they walk to the education if they do that means that they can walk over here uh, to this school or some other school that is close to the to the train station to the yeah to the train station um, yeah, so I don't know if you guys have uh, any more knowledge about this. That would be great. Share it. Uh, this is still being constructed. And the last thing we're going to discuss in this episode is the loans. Almighty dollar. Ruble. Ruble. I said ruble. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, almighty dollar and the loans. So we had 800,000 a few moments ago, a few minutes ago in the video. We are down to 785,000. Okay, so loans. First of all, I hate them in real life. I, uh, I know that they are... Cog, not cog. The engine of the economy that you invent money and then pump it in the economy and expect that it's gonna come back. I don't know how money mechanics work. I know I, I know some basics, and I'm not gonna pretend that it is. I know that if at all possible, don't get a loan. Live modestly, modestly, and you're gonna be fine. Um, at least what I try to do. Um, that's why I have. 2007 Škoda Octavia that costs <laughs> less than a bicycle I, bicycles I have uh, but anyway uh, loans in this game are also having a big downside they do affect your finances they do affect your finances greatly as you can see here uh, we have uh, monthly in 30 days 50,000 rubles uh, repayments so due tomorrow is 1,600 rubles overdo nothing so we are paying our loans so this is how much we're how much money we're wasting just to repay loans to the banks and um, if our comrades uh, in other countries were any fairer uh, than the capitalists they wouldn't uh, charge us so much for the loans or that wouldn't charge us at all they would help us develop it i don't know maybe that's a wrong point of view i don't know but the loans i tried not to have them but i think they are huge break for your economy long-term break look let's face it sooner or later you will uh, you can build profitable things like oil extraction power uh, power extraction uh, factories everything you can build it and it's going to be profitable but i am not really sure if um i really don't want to have loans okay i think that's that's um uh, that's the main thing that i want to take out of the the more main point of the story okay so look at this E pur si move. That means, and yet it moves. Our factory is working. We are producing our own machine parts. We need to supply them to the system. So what we're going to do now is purchase a new uh, vehicle. How much do we produce there? So this vehicle is going to have to go from the machine part uh, production facility all the way to the storage of machine parts, which is going to be over here. So let's go and uh, get a truck. Uh, we're gonna go and buy a vehicle. We're not gonna export uh, machine parts. That's a period. We you never do that. You never go full retard. Don't. Oh right. Did I check how much is it? How much do we produce per day? Seven and a half tons. We probably never gonna get there. I mean, like, and it consumes a lot of steel. You see, eleven tons per steel per day. Eleven tons of steel per day. So we'll see how that's gonna work. But uh, initially, I would like to get here. We go perfect little uh, affordable truck goes 80 kilometers per hour i will try to uh, i'll try to be smart with this one um like i wasn't with a steel one so he's gonna go from here he's gonna bypass uh let's try here there we go bypass this one and go here where you're gonna be first load machine parts here you're gonna be unloading uh, machine parts and after this one you need to go back to where you came from there we go uh, let's see if this is gonna work uh, it should work yeah uh, anything I missed here load wait until loaded maybe yeah I can wait until loaded and do not wait until unloaded because it's busy there uh, and then we need to go and check this line machine part line uh, this is gonna be do we name it no it goes in perfect direction as you can see the green lines it bypasses the city center awesome i should probably rename it this would be uh machine 
part this row. Okay, there we go. Machine part distribution. So we have this one uh, set up all, all, all nice. The the one that I didn't set up nicely, that would be the steel distribution. I will just take this one and add uh, new stops. So this is steel deliveries. I will go from the steel mill. Uh, you, you have to bypass all of this. Sorry, dude, but you have to bypass it all the way here. And then on the way back after this one, you need to go again over here. So let's see if this is going to fix it. So this is... Yeah, it, they are bypassing the city center, so they're not going to create any additional traffic there. Perfect, let's go uh, steal to Mac Park. There we go. Why, why did I put dot next to parts? There we go. That's it. Okay, I will end it here. If I started any topics that I didn't finish, please uh, hit me over the head with a stick or something. Remind me in the comment section what uh, uh, we, we I didn't cover so we can cover it. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, I'm still recording this few hours before it's released. Now it's 10.30 in the morning, Dublin time. And it's going to be released in two and a half hours or so i believe uh, should be processed in time hopefully and uh, you guys are gonna have fresh episode just released uh, if you hit the comment section the next episode i'm probably gonna re uh, re uh, record tomorrow so um, before i release it so any comments that you put in the comment section uh, i can address it in the next episode okay that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one if you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like the notification bell. Ring it. Comment section. Hit it. And if you want to support the channel, description of the video. See you next one. Bye-bye.